So point to me where the problem area is. Yep. So what have you got there, Carl? Oh, it's some sort of a lump there. I don't know what that is. Those two, like, burn marks there. Looks right. like it's starting to get a hole in it there. Is it soft around the shell? Yes, that's really, really soft. Right. That is soft. Mm. And this is the one with the hole in the back. And uh, that black mark there. My name's Jeff Robson, yeah, commercial mud crab fisherman for the last six days. Caught 54 kilos, that averages out at 9 kilos per day. Same time last year, I had 320 kg. How many pots, Jeff? That's 50 pots per day I caught. Whereabouts have you been fishing? Um, in S31. Okay. Down near Turkey Beach, or no? That's uh, SC Coliseum Inlet. Coliseum Inlet, and, yeah. and tell me, of you, is there a lot of little crabs around the no, area? Nothing. Today I pulled um, 14 pots before I seen my first crab, and two days ago I had two um, lots of 10 pots. So I've never seen a crab. Have you seen it as bad as that before no. early in the season? No. no. How long have you known it? 38 years. In the same spot. Yep. Uh, Desmond, this is my name, and I'm fishing uh, the top end of the Gladstone Harbour. Des, how you been going these last since the season started these last few um, weeks? Um, very quiet. To start off, um, there was absolutely no crab whatsoever, and probably the last week, there's a few um, empty ones showing up. What quantities uh, compared to previous years? Uh, probably 20%, 15%, probably more towards the truth. Yeah. Ever seen it this bad? No, never, the season? never. Are you seeing any small crabs about? Not a lot. Um, when you usually start, there's a lot of small crabs. Uh, when we started, there was mostly uh, female crabs, which you don't usually see at all. Okay, much ulceration around? Uh, not a lot of ulceration. Whereabouts no. are you fishing? Um, now, yes. um, from uh, Targini through to the Narrows. I'm Nathan Samuels, I'm a local mud crabber. I've been crabbing from the mouth of Graham's Creek through to Ramsey's Crossing. Last couple of weeks or a bit longer? Uh, yeah, the last couple of weeks. What have you been finding? Uh, when I first started putting pots in there, wasn't a lot around, but as the B grade crabs are coming out, I'm noticing there's a few ulcerated shells and that. How badly ulcerated are they? Uh, some of them are the size of up to a 20 cent piece. Right. Yeah. What percentage would you say? Uh, how many crab? How, how often would you see how many crabs before you found an ulcerated one? I'm uh, not catching a lot of crabs, say 10%. Right, okay. 10% of them. And what are you doing with those, throwing them back? Yeah, I've just been throwing them back. And uh, so what what uh, overall volume of crabs per day have you been getting from your, your pots? Uh, 30 kilos a day. And uh, what what have you been getting in the previous years at this stage of uh, the tides and year? 70 to 80 kilos a day. So are you viable at that level? No, not really. I'm just waiting and hoping and see if they come. You're seeing many little crabs, youngish no, juveniles? Usually you pull a pot up and there's oh, 10, 15 crabs in a pot, but there's just empty pots this year. Right, across the board? Yeah, just all across the board. Like You might be lucky to average two crabs in every pot, whereas it's usually yeah, 10 or 15. And do you normally see little crabs on the, on the ropes and things like that or not? Yeah, usually you pull them up and they're over your arms and running down your legs. And, and what about this year? Nah, nothing. Name's Alan Holland. Yeah, Alan, you've been uh, crabbing around the area in the last few weeks? Yes, yeah, so I've been crabbing up the Targini and down around the Prince Point the last few weeks. And what have you been seeing? Uh, crabs with light coloured patches uh, and ulcerations, a oh. small percentage. What sort of percentage? Probably only a 10%. Okay. At the moment. And what about volume overall? Volume's way down. There's, uh, hardly any undersized crab, which is unusual, right. and not a lot of ginnies or anything. It's a very, very quiet altogether. So viable or not viable? Not viable. Not. So what have you? What are you doing? 
pulling, pulling my pots out and not working, not going, going to work. It's unviable to work. So, Cole, just tell me, uh, early in the season, how many days in? Well, I've, I've only been going four days. I've had pots in for uh, since the 22nd of October, but there hasn't been any crabs. It's very, very late start. Okay, unusually late? Unusually late. I was chatting about, about Melbourne Cup time. I started catching some a crab, especially a lot of water bags, but only it started up in the last week. When you've been fishing, whereabouts precisely? Yeah, well, in the, in the mouth of Clive River and up to Friends Point. And Cole, what numbers of crabs have you been catching a day? Uh, I haven't been catching a real lot yet. I've been returning because they're mostly water bags, but you know, 20 a day. I say, well, I only got, I only got out of 50 with pots? Four, well, 45 pots. And is that uh, what would you normally expect at this time of the year out of 45? Yeah, well, it's 45. hard to know. It's just the start of the season. It's hard to know what, to, what I'm going to get, but I should be getting a couple of water bags in every pot, I would think. And is that occurring? No, not yet. And are you seeing very many little crabs around? Yeah, there's still a lot of little crabs around. Yeah. Okay, then. And so, and they look healthy? Look healthy, yes. Okay, what about your, um, are you finding many ulcerated crabs? Uh, I've been starting to get a few of them. Uh, yes. There's quite a few I've had to throw back because they're undersized. A couple had a BRI and that, but there's... What about any ulcers in those ones you've thrown away or females? Yeah, well, I've, I've seen a couple of bad females, but it's not as bad as what I thought it would be. Okay then, and had, in the previous dredging campaigns, did it gradually get worse over a season or two yeah, seasons? Well, I don't recall right back then, but it's, it, we got a, quite a few. And you were providing them as samples to the yeah, government? Yeah, I, I sent quite a few into the university and that for samples, yeah. yeah. They took blood tests of them and everything, so. As you can see here, it's got those two marks there. I believe that's probably going to break into holes. I'm not sure. Is that what you've seen in previous times? When well, you don't get a real lot of that as a rule, but it, it'll, there, there will be some from now on in, I'm pretty sure. Why is that, Colin? Well, I believe there's something wrong with the water. Right. I think. And you've seen that before? I've seen it before. When was the last time? Oh, when, the, when we had all the holes in the crab some years ago. And was that caused following a dredging period? Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. Uh, Sam Roberts, I've been crabbing up the Narrows. Um, last couple of weeks, Sam, when did you start back? Uh, started actually, I put in on Saturday just recently. Okay, and what have you found so far? Uh, there's very minimal crab movement. How many um, crab pots you got in? Uh, 50. Okay then, and where do the pots run from? Uh, they run from Graham's Creek up to uh, the crossing. Okay. Crossing. And, and in, what would you be catching per pot? Oh. I'm getting between 15 and 20 kilo um, a, a trip, and normally we're getting over one a pot. Right. So it's it, there's even no jennies in the pots. It's just one plain buck with maybe one spider. There's not even there's no juveniles. There's no jennies. It's right. it we, just seems dead. Uh, Neville Samuels and. and Grabbing for how long, Neville? Oh, about 35 years, Michael. Tell me how you've been going these last few weeks. Yeah, no, it's uh, probably catching a third of what I usually catch at this time of the year now. Really? Wh where have you been fishing? Targini, uh, Worthington. Okay. And uh, what sort of um, um, pot uh, crab per pot ratio are you finding? Oh, I'm getting average and on about one crab at every two pots. Okay. And no, is that... no females or nothing around at this time of the year compared to other years where there's probably... 10 and 12 in a pot, but there's none of them around. Okay, and what's happening, uh, generally speaking, with um, little crabs and stuff? Well, there hasn't been none of them around either. We haven't been seeing the amount of them that's usually around. Okay, then. At this, you know, at this time of the year now. What about ulcerations? Seeing no, well, like, uh, just actually where I'm working at the moment, I haven't found them, but the, they seem to be closer back to town where the dredging and that's all occurring.